Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. Sorry you guys. <laughs> All right, let's get into your reading Aquarius. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance. We're going to do the tarot. Then we're going to get into the oracle cards and quickly a spirit's message for you guys. So let's see what's going on. Now we have here the devil card Aquarius. How are you guys doing, by the way? I hope you guys are doing good. We have the Queen of Pentacles, maybe dealing with a Capricorn. The Justice card. Wow. The Death card. Heavy, heavy energy here, you guys. Eight of Wands. The Six of Wands. Wow, you guys have powerful energy. Ace of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. And the King of Pentacles. Wow. Powerful cards, you guys. Okay. So let's get into the needy greedy. Right at the center, we have the six of wands. So there's victory coming to you guys. For those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I do see an uh, earth energy. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, very highly a Capricorn that is coming into your life. Um, what they're showing me here is a soulmate type of connection. Uh, and the reason I say that is because we do have the queen and we have the king of pentacles here. So when we have... Um, a couple of the same court it usually indicates either a past connection or a soulmate type of connection um with the six of wands i feel that you're going to start to experience getting a lot of attention aquarius this could be people from your past coming back around this could be friends people around you that perhaps you weren't really in communication anymore all of a sudden reaching out to you texting you communicating now, obviously, this is a love reading. They're showing me the seven of cups here underneath the ace of cups. So I feel that for some of you guys, if you felt or have felt like um, your love life has been mediocre to dry, uh, that's not going to be the issue anymore. I definitely see you guys having tons of options, you guys, and I mean it. Um, I see you guys really radiating. I see you guys um, upkeeping your image uh, for some of you guys it could be like renovating your image for other of you guys having a makeover a complete transformation there is a need to renew the energy that you have that you're carrying that you are vibrating to aquarius uh, with the devil card it could represent um the having the need or the desire of that of material uh stability so this is you guys being focused this is you guys being determined with the Justice card, Karma being released, we do have the Death card here. It also represents um, balancing the scales. It means, again, uh, being able to experience or restart your love life. Uh, like I said, if there's been a bit of stagnation there, that's quickly going to be coming to an end. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, quick communication, the Arrows of Love, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I do, I do see this connection, a new connection coming through for you guys. And it's coming, uh, again, right, the, right in the process of the release of your karmic cycle. So again, it's very, very powerful, uh, strong energy that's coming through. I see you guys getting together with friends. Um, I see you guys even being open to online dating, just basically putting yourself out there. And I do see that the end of your singlehood is coming to a conclusion, to a quick end. You are on a new path, Aquarius. Now, for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, I see you guys very motivated. I see you guys very focused and determined in either uh, creating, growing wealth, or uh, working on the stability of you know your finances. And I see that you're going to be entering a new cycle with your partner or with your husband or wife where you guys are going to be uh, having the desire to either travel or having the desire to move residency, to buy property. Uh, this could be a major purchase like a house, a car, that type of energy. But I definitely do see it very like it's about expansion for you guys for the next coming weeks. Um, 
right at the center at the bottom we have the king of pentacles again queen of pentacles here there is harmony in a relationship that is going to be starting off or that is going to that you're going to be basically working on building up um for some of you guys this is the person you've been waiting for this is the person or the connection that your soul was craving that you were desiring that you were looking for perhaps in the past you had certain options, um, but they really didn't spark your interest or it wasn't anything worth pursuing for you. That's not going to be the issue anymore. I definitely see you guys really shining and being in your power, uh, Aquarius, um, and getting a lot of attention. I feel like for some of you guys, uh, this could be even people in like friends introducing you to new people. Um, or letting you know, like, hey, I heard that this person is single. You guys would, you know, make an, an awesome couple. Maybe you guys should go on a date. I feel like there is a lot of spontaneity around you when it comes to dating, when it comes to how you meet this individual that's coming into your life. For some of you guys, it could be that you've had your eye on a specific Capricorn. And you've I, I see you guys, like, waiting, uh, patiently watching, um, even taking your time. Uh, I see for some of you guys, it could be that you've had your eye on a specific Capricorn for quite some years. Uh, it could be, you know, two or three years ago. It could be a friend that you know, someone that you've always wondered what if. And I feel that spirit or universe is starting to open up certain things. Uh, they could have been at a distance um, where it gives you the opportunity to go to where they're at and start building off of that connection. And I definitely do see it. Uh, fully manifesting for you guys in the next coming months. Well, we have a card that fell out. Okay, so let's see what your message is here. I am happy that it's over. I feel this is your energy, Aquarius. I feel that you're starting to really release you know, the past. And I feel that even for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, it could be because you were still holding on to the past. It could have been that you were still dealing with karmic energy from the past, people that you've messed around with or people that you dated or that you were with in a long-term relationship. And you're finally releasing that. Um, what did you want for me? Um, could represent, you know, having clarity, having understanding of what it is that you want at this point. Especially seeing you guys so empowered, I feel like you're not messing around anymore. Like, you know exactly what it is that you want and you're going for it. Especially because I'm getting the message for some of you guys, you already know who this person is. The person that has had your eye um, or that you've had your eye on. Uh, and I definitely see you guys like not hesitating anymore and taking action towards that. And I never used to look at you in that way. So again, I'm getting very like friend vibes. It could be a person that you've known for a while. It could be a person that uh, was on your radar. It could be a friend, someone that you've known for a very long time. Uh, circumstances and situations are going to unfold where it's going to bring you guys together or to spend some time and you start to see uh, each other in a very different way or you start to see basically fireworks happen here. I'm very excited for you guys for this because... I don't think I felt this strong of an, a reading for all the signs. I think you're the only one that's very, uh, very powerful type of energy here. These are uh, things happening. You have a lot of major arcanas. These are things that have nothing to do with you. These are things that have to do with the universe, with planetary alignments, uh, assisting you, basically bringing certain things together uh, so that you ha can have a clear uh, vision of the path that you're walking on. Aquarius. Now your next card here is 23. 23 could represent, um, you know, partial loss. This is the uh, people around you, people that you've surround yourself with that perhaps were not to the best of your interest and really acknowledging that or acknowledging this could even be secretive. This could even be, you know, in the past, maybe you dealt with people that were committed, that were in relationships that had a girl or a boy, um, and just being sneaky about it um, because you weren't really wanting something long term. I see that quickly changing. And again, we're releasing the karmic cycle uh, that you've been carrying on for the past 10 years. So again, a major transformative energy here for a lot of you guys. 
I feel that from now, I want to say all the way to August, you're going to be experiencing a lot of people coming towards your opportunities in regards to love and romance that is really going to impact you for the next coming years. So very, very positive reading here, Aquarius. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment, and we will see each other soon. Bye.